the hello today's video we have the following content rose story acting ranking the yu yifu ranked third zuzu ranked last and the champion is well deserved the source of this article comes from authoritative reports guangming.com zinmin evening news detailed sources are attached to the end of the article in order to improve the readability of the article the details may be polished please read rationally for reference only in june the TV series Rose Story starring Liu Yifei was strongly launched on CCTV's Golden Strong Time and attracted much attention. In just 12 days, the drama quickly surpassed many popular dramas with its outstanding performance, swept the entire network platform, and successfully won the throne of the ratings champion. The entries about it continue to occupy a prominent position in the hot search list, attracting much attention and popularity. The reason why Rose Story was a great success is not only due to its excellent script quality, but also due to the superb acting performance of many actors. The major protagonists showed extraordinary acting skills, and similarly, the performances of many supporting roles were also eye-catching, bringing a wonderful visual feast to the audience. However, if we were to rank them based on their acting skills, who would be the first in the end? Zuzu did not create a traditional stereotyped image of a female boss. Although Jiang Zuqiang is a career-oriented woman with great courage and means, she has shown extraordinary talent and decisiveness in the workplace. However, it is some unique personality traits that allow the character of Jiang Zuqiang to break away from the stereotyped image creation and show its unique style. In the workplace, Jiang Zuqiang is known for her decisive and resolute style. She is a decision-maker with great leadership charm and decisive actions. Once she makes a decision, she will implement it unwaveringly, showing a firm attitude of saying one thing and one thing. With her excellent management ability, the leader makes his employees respect him with a little awe and dare not approach him easily. However, in daily life, she also shows the tender side of women. Her makeup is always kept so flawless, she takes good care of her nails, and has her own unique insights and style in color matching. Zuzu cleverly combines two seemingly conflicting personalities, making them complement each other and achieving a perfect balance. When facing different subordinates, Jiang Zuqiang shows completely different attitudes. In the conversation with the senior and excellent employee Su Zhengcheng, the words are full of wisdom and ingenuity, and the reminders are just to the point without too many words. When facing the stunningly beautiful new employee Wang Yimri, he immediately put on a warm smile. The words seem to be full of kindness on the surface, but they reveal the leader's scrutiny and measurement. Jiang Zuqiang has a rich and diverse personality. Her smile sometimes seems to hide a sharp knife, and sometimes reveals sincere emotions. It is not easy to switch attitudes freely between roles, but Zuzhu's acting performance is worthy of praise and affirmation. In this drama, Zhou Shihu can undoubtedly be ranked among the top three most unpopular characters. For Wu Bi, it is indeed a very difficult challenge to play this role. Because from the appearance alone, there is a clear gap between him and the male protagonists in the drama, and this gap is by no means a little bit. Joshi who caused deep harm to two women in the name of love. One of the partners who is about to enter the marriage hall with him is Guan Zhuzhu who has been with him for seven years. There is an innocent Wang Yimui who was implicated. It can be said that Wubi successfully portrayed the image of this character vividly and left a deep impression on people. Although his real character is fickle and easily bored, similar to the scumbag who likes new things and hates old things, he deliberately concealed this and deliberately showed an image of deep affection. Imposing his own emotions on the innocent Rose makes it feel depressed and suffocated. The screen is filled with a strong greasy and vulgar atmosphere, as if to break through the limitations of the screen. However, it is a little regrettable that Wubi's performance is a little excessive, giving people an impression of over-effort, as if he was trying too hard. However, we must admit that he successfully portrayed the role of Zhou Shihu vividly, so that the audience's antipathy towards the role even affected the actor himself. Among the many female characters competing to bloom, the temperament exuded by Bai Ziao is unique and unique. She is not the gorgeous rose or the proud and independent rose, but a graceful lotus, different from others, with its own unique charm. In this blind date between her and the heroine's brother, the girl's cultivation and connotation were fully displayed. She looks gentle and kind, like a breeze in summer, but these are only her superficial characteristics. Bai Ziao closed the depths of her heart tightly, like an indestructible castle and did not allow anyone to set foot in it. When dining with Wang Zhenhua, she accepted his action of picking up dishes out of politeness, but not out of sincerity. Although she tried to let it go, the figure of another person still appeared in her mind from time to time. 
The piece of meat was always placed on the rice, but no one touched it, and it remained untasted. This may be the most implicit refusal she expressed to Wang's Hua, the blind date. In the end, the two blind daters failed to get together after all, and it seems that their fate did not come as they wished. Wang's Hua is about to get the rose that belongs to him. Bai Xiao also embarked on a long journey to personally write the ending chapter for her imprisoned love. Chen Yao showed a strong plasticity. The role of Yu Killer she played in Wooks and the Monster Killer seemed innocent on the surface, but in fact she hid an extremely evil side. In the story of Roses, the appearance of the character Bai Xiao gives people an impression of weakness and gentleness, but deep in her heart she hides indifference and stagnation. She is always able to accurately show the two sides of the character, both externally and internally, and interprets them just right, whether in terms of external performance or internal emotions. Zhang Guadong, as the first lover in the life of the heroine, has the characteristics of a typical sophisticated egoist. When they first appeared together, the two are a talented man and a beautiful woman, and they looked very well matched and had a tacit understanding. He had a pair of glasses firmly on his nose, his suit was neat and just right, and his hair was always combed in an orderly manner, which made him look particularly exquisite. He has excellent work ability and has been highly valued and appreciated by his leaders for a long time. He naturally exudes an elite quality and style. It is no wonder that Rose was devoted to him at the beginning and even went to France for him. However, Zhang Guodong did not pay enough attention to the heroine. He always put his personal career first and as the core of his life. He changed his job without consulting the heroine, and when Rose broke down and cried, he was indifferent and unmoved. When facing his beloved girlfriend, Zhang Guodong either chose to be indifferent and distant or to take a harsh questioning approach, appearing both indifferent and fierce. Although he is not kind by nature, he unexpectedly gives people an impression of being gentle and elegant. As one of the four male protagonists in the work Rose's story, he is the quarrel and the change of Rose's thinking. In the plot, the role of Zhang Guodong is very important, and he carries the important mission of deepening and intensifying the conflicts and contradictions between the characters. When interpreting the role of Zhang Guodong, Pen Guanin successfully showed his ruthless and profit-seeking nature under his well-dressed suit. His performance accurately captured the complex personality of this character, allowing the audience to deeply feel the ruthlessness and indifference in Zhang Guodong's heart, and also revealed his unscrupulousness in the pursuit of interests. In this drama, Liu Yifei is undoubtedly the best choice for the heroine. Her charm is enough to support the character setting of beautiful as a fairy in the drama, and no one can match it. She also created a beautiful character image, and was also praised and flattered by everyone in the drama. If you look closely at the heroine Zhang Shuai played by Bai Luan Camp with love, the audience will feel a little embarrassed. Her performance does not seem to fully fit the setting of the role, which makes people feel a little uncomfortable during the viewing process. Obviously just a fresh and refined little white flower, but she insisted on playing the role of a stunning beauty. As a result, not only can she not perfectly control the character setting, but she also adds a greasy feeling. If Liu Yifei is placed in the same role, then the praise for her will not be too much. She can not only interpret the brightness and agility of a girl, but also show her charming and charming style when skateboarding. She can also show the lily mature charm of an urban beauty, and both men and women are attracted by it. She was once intoxicated by the sweetness of love, but was ruthlessly abandoned by her beloved. Her collapse made people feel deeply distressed for her. After changing her mindset, Wang Yimei is like a blooming rose, rejuvenated, dazzling and eye-catching. It is not easy to successfully portray the role of Wang Yimi. Not only must she successfully create a vivid character image, but she must also accurately express the psychological state of the heroine at different stages with superb acting skills, so that the audience can deeply feel her emotional changes in growth process. Liu Yifei's performance is indeed outstanding and left a deep impression. Tuang Duai's acting skills are always trustworthy. Although his appearance is not outstanding, his outstanding acting ability is enough to make up for this small shortcoming. In the work The Story of Roses, many leaders, bosses, career leaders and senior elites gathered together to perform a wonderful story together. Among these workplace elites, Wang Zhenhua plays an indispensable role as a mediator. His seemingly ordinary appearance can quickly narrow the distance with the audience, giving people an indescribable sense of intimacy. At the same time, Tong Dui also plays the role of funny in the play. Some of the small actions not only add to the comedy effect, but also make his image more vivid and interesting. After the blind date was frustrated, 
he showed a lost look and silently scratched the wall dust, like a child drawing circles and cursing on the wall, which seemed both cute and helpless. In my interactions with Susu, I always seemed a little discouraged, and unconsciously adjusted my appearance, hoping to leave a better impression on people. Tuang Dui showed extremely precise control when interpreting these seemingly inconspicuous details. This superb acting skill made the whole character full of humor and made people laugh. However, although Wang's Henhua was described as unpromising, this evaluation is different from the cowardly label attached to Zhou Shihu. The shyness he showed from time to time was just like a big boy who had not yet grown out of his childishness, which made people want to get closer to him and get close to him. Wang Zhenhe always showed his tenacity and responsibility at critical moments. He never disappointed people and was always an outstanding brother who was brave enough to protect his sister. Wang Jin performed well this year, like a dark horse that stood out and left a deep impression on people. Although she is not a new face in the entertainment industry, her performance this time was really eye-catching. It can be said that it was the first time she became so popular. However, the great success she has achieved is indeed well-deserved and completely commendable. In the story of Roses, the character that is deeply loved by the audience is none other than Su Zhengshen. She went through many hardships in her youth, suffered the pain of her parents' divorce, and was hurt by her stepfather. However, with her unyielding perseverance, she successfully broke free from the predicament and eventually transformed into an outstanding female leader. Although she looks cold and hard on the outside, she is actually very gentle in her heart, although she has a strong and inspiring aura, she is very protective and protective of the people around her. She tried her best to protect the Rose, which made the audience sigh that Susu is the real male protagonist who made people's hearts beat faster. If we put the plot aside for the time being, from the perspective of acting alone, Wan Jin's performance is indeed outstanding, fully demonstrating her acting ability. It is completely different from the hysterical performance when Wang Yimui collapsed. The inner collapse of Su Zhengsheng is shown in a silent way, which is more like a silent catharsis, a quiet cry. The hair wet by the rain looks messy, and although she tries to keep calm on the outside, her eyes reveal deep helplessness and fragility. In the face of the care shown by the rose, her initial reaction is to choose to avoid and hide, and she is unwilling to face it head on. Wan Jin shows the delicate emotions in the inner world of Su Zhengshen vividly, as if she has completely dissected it. Excellent works often complement the actors and create each other's success. The screenwriters are ingenious and create rich scripts, while the actors are united and interpret the characters vividly, making them jump out of the screen. In the work The Story of Rose, each actor performed with all his strength. As for the ranking of the characters, it is just the subjective evaluation of the audience. Although some characters have limited appearances, they have left a deep and vivid mark in a short time, adding a strong touch to the story. Among these shining performing stars, which one is the most dazzling star in your mind and ranks first in your heart? Next news. Liu Yifei's mother became the star of the story of Rose with her strength and beauty. In the story of Rose, Liu Yifei re-emerged in the TV drama track and attracted people's attention. In the play, Wang Yimui's mother Wu Yujian is played by Wu Yufeng, showing her solid acting skills and elegant temperament. Wu Yujiang, played by Wu Yufeng, is a retired professor. Although ordinary, she is full of literary and artistic atmosphere, giving people a down-to-earth feeling. Wu Yujiang's role is very real, showing the image of a cautious mother who cares about her children very much and hopes that they can become talents. In the play, Wu Yujiang not only asked her son Wang Zhenhua to go on a blind date, but also worried that her daughter Rose would be hurt or hurt others. She is a conscientious mother who has paid a lot for the growth of her children. Wu Yufang's wonderful performance in the story of Rose reminds people of her role as Liu Kaiyu's in life many years ago. At that time, she became popular all over the country with this role and won many awards. Later, Wu Yufang married table tennis player Zhang Jiayin and retired from the entertainment industry. But when she returned again, she still created many classic roles with her excellent acting skills and beauty. Although she is over 60 years old, Wu Yufang still shows her calm side. She has played the role of mother for many actors and successfully played various types of mothers. Whether it is Tan Jiansi's mother in Yu Who Was Lost by Mir Liu Tao's mother in Be Your Own Light, Wu Yufang has shown different images of mothers. Her superb acting skills have injected unique personality and charm into each role. When Wu Yufang appeared in the play, her 61-year-old age reminded people of time never defeats beauty. She used her acting skills to tell the audience that only by experiencing the long corridor of time can those textured characters be created.
In film and television dramas, the image of mothers varies greatly, but Wu Yufan can interpret them very distinctively, and each image of a mother is unique. She can stand out from the role of mothers and create classic mother images one after another, showing her unique performance style and superb acting skills. From Li Yukaya's Hand to Wu Yujiang today, Wu Yufang's roles span a wide range, but her acting skills have been constantly improving. In Send Me to the Clouds, she played the role of Liang Mizi and won the Best Supporting Actress Award at the 32nd Golden Rooster Awards, which once again amazed the audience. In the story of Roses, Wu Yufang played the role of mother very movingly, showing her strength and beauty over the years. Wu Yufang's acting skills and charm make people think about how cruel age is to actresses. But she has always been able to accept and embrace age and choose roles that suit her. Whether it is Liu Kaiyu's Han in her youth or the image of a mother today, Wu Yufang has shown her calm side. Her performance in the play reminds people of the famous saying that time never defeats beauty. She tells us to treat life and embrace life at any age, and keep a girl's mentality in our hearts. Wu Yufang has created many classic mother roles with her excellent acting skills and elegant temperament. Her acting skills are superb, and each role shows a unique charm. Although the age is different, Wu Yufan can still impress the audience with her acting skills and beauty. She told us that although time is cruel, only by experiencing the baptism of time can we create those textured characters. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 